Welcome to Cox OC Connection. I'm Lacey Kelly and this is Civic Connection where we visit with your civic leaders. Today I'm excited to introduce Sam Alivado who's the mayor of San Juan Capistrano to the show. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me. You know before we get started it would be nice if our viewers could get to know you a little bit. Can you just share a little bit about yourself? Sure. I'm a 38 year resident of the city of San Juan Capistrano. Uh, married to my lovely bride, Vicki, for 46 years. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> raised our two children in San Juan Capistrano, graduated from San Clemente High School, both of them. Uh, and I'm going on my 10th year on city council, third time as the mayor, and uh, enjoy being a grandpa. Wow. Well, congratulations on being a grandpa as well. That's the best. And yeah. you uh, obviously know a lot about the city and have seen a lot of change probably since you've lived there. Quite a bit of change, yes, I have. Okay. Well, there's a lot happening in San Juan Capistrano from transportation projects to new parks and development, uh, some statewide changes related to water, and in general, just how is the city doing? You know, our city is, is doing very well. I mean, consider coming out of the recession. Uh, our downtown is, is really becoming very lively. We have a lot of great restaurants that have opened up, uh, and our established restaurants are doing great. Uh, we have our downtown merchants are being helped a lot by uh, the city and, and having a, an economic preservation committee that's working uh, during the construction of the uh, interchange to help maintain our business climate down, downtown. Mission continues to get 400,000 visitors a year, so uh, we're just waiting for the swallows to come uh, next month. Excellent, excellent. Well, focusing on transportation, I-5 and Ortega Highway improvement uh, project could have been a pretty serious blow to your local economy. Um, it's right at the entrance uh, to your city and is under full construction, but you've actually been able to enhance your local business community and merchants during this construction time. So how has the city been so successful in protecting the local economy there and the mer uh, merchants during construction? Uh, Lacey, well, before the construction began, we formed a mayor's subcommittee. Uh, it's called the Economic Preservation Committee. And we joined volunteers in the business community, civic groups, the mission, all of our various uh, community organizations to see what we could do during the construction period uh, to preserve the economic vitality. Uh, we partnered with OCTA, with uh, Caltrans. Uh, we have special events bringing hundreds of visitors down on the train to, to San Juan Capistrano. We have a shop local program. We, uh, as a city council, uh, lightened up the codes on uh, banners and advertising so that our businesses could enhance their signage. Uh, just trying to work with the business community in a partnership to make sure that we can weather this together. Okay, well excellent. That all sounds really great. And just recently I had heard that uh, signage is one of the key things that drives the success of businesses mm -hmm. attracting uh, customers. So interesting and uh, glad you guys are working on that. Shifting gears a little bit, water is a huge issue in the state. Our governor just declared uh, the worst drought in 100 years in California. And your city is one of a handful um, that I know of that uh, uses, I think, groundwater as, as a source. Tell us what San Juan Capistrano is doing to ensure a reliable water source for your residents. Uh, we have a groundwater recovery plant, which is currently producing about 50% of our water from our own groundwater. 50%, okay. So we uh, are able to continue having a reliable source. Uh, if the governor cuts the imported water allocation, we will have our, at least our own groundwater recovery plant to, to serve our residents. We also uh, obtained a $5 million grant from the state to uh, enhance our recycled water program. So we're bringing recycled water to a lot of our homeowners associations and golf courses. Okay, excellent. And uh, what are the, some of the things that you are asking your residents to do to help out with that? Do you have any programs along those lines? Uh, we have uh, implemented uh, a few programs where we, we actually pay folks to take out grass and, oh. and replace it. We have an incentive program to do that. We've okay. also had an incentive program for folks to turn in uh, uh, toilets that are high usage to, to lower usage toilets and uh, those are programs that we have. We, we're also calling for uh, you know folks to conserve and to uh, go with drought tolerant plants. Our uh, uh, conservation officer is always happy to come out to homes and, and meet with folks and tell them how they can save on their water bill and save water. 
And that's excellent, not only in terms of saving water, but your residents saving financially as well. That's correct. By conserving. Um, San Juan Capistrano is one of the premier, premier um, equestrian communities in California. And I understand that there are some exciting developments um, in your city for equestrians. Tell us about, uh, I think it's called Riata Park, is Riata that correct? Park, yes. And how will it serve your, your community? It's called the Riata Park and Event Center. It's a 12-acre park that will be opening to the public probably in May of this year. Uh, it has a uh, equestrian staging area, a picnic area, barbecues, it has a, an event center, visitor center, uh, planned museum, uh, bicycle trail, equestrian trail. Uh, it's really a beautiful park. It's part of our uh, acquisition of the Rancho Mission Viejo Riding Park at Ortega and La Pata. And it, it's, a, it's a beautiful uh, scenic park where the residents will be out 24-7 uh, enjoying uh, a very nice amenity, and all given to the city residents by the San Juan Capistrano Open Space Foundation, which is funding totally this multi-million dollar improvement to our park system. That's incredibly exciting. Yes, it is. Very will exciting. they have events there? We will have events. It'll be open for the public to, to rent, to have corporate picnics there or to have weddings, to have any kind of uh, public event, uh, it will be available uh, as uh, the need arises for folks to come out and use the park. It's also open to the public. Uh, it's a staging area where folks can come in from outside with their, with their horse trailers, offload their horses, and go on to one of our 40 miles of trails that we so enjoy in San Juan Capistrano. Sure, sure, absolutely. Well, congratulations on that. That's pretty Thank exciting. You. It is very exciting. Well, like all California cities, uh, San Juan Capistrano has experienced some budget pain, and uh, you are um, turning around the city, and it, it's uh, getting back to uh, a healthy position. What are some of the things that uh, that you have done to sort of pave the way for that over the last several years? Well, you know, I think we've uh, invested in our uh, in our some of our other businesses. Uh, we're currently enjoying a 6.9% increase in sales tax revenue. Our property tax evaluation has gone up 3.5%. Our uh, revenue for our emergency contingency will be up to 48.7% within a few months, wow. which was down below 30% just two years ago during the recession. So I would say our economy is coming back. We've taken uh, we tightened our belts like all municipalities. We went from 119 employees down to 88 employees. Wow. So we're doing a, a lot more with, with fewer people, but it is, it is helping uh, really to drive the economy. And we, we're trying to work with the business community to uh, bring on three new projects that are on the uh, drawing boards. One is a hotel downtown. Oh, wow. uh, another project is a retirement community in the south end of our town that will be uh, uh, home to 600 new residents and also a new retail center in our downtown core. So those are three projects that are on the drawing boards right now that are working their way through the process. Wow, that's very exciting. Where can we find out more about those or is it premature? Um, well, you can go on our website, that's sanjuancapistrano.org and you can find out about uh, any public meetings that's coming up and these items when they're uh, coming up for review by our planning commission, city council, uh, they can find more out about that. There's also outreach programs by the developers themselves, mm -hmm. especially the retirement community and the hotel. Uh, they've been very active in town, talking to the public, getting their input, uh, finding out what the public would like to see in those developments, and uh, the interest has been uh, very overwhelming for those projects. That's one of the standout things that I have heard about San Juan Capistrano is how the uh, contractors and businesses that you work with for new developments really do reach out and work with the community on new projects. Yes, it, you know, it's really, it's smart planning to, to get the community involved, build consensus, build the partnership with the community so that when you do present your projects uh, to the city council and planning commission and so forth, uh, the public has an understanding of it and generally uh, a better acceptance of the project. Sure, sure. Okay. Well, uh, one of the things I have heard about you continually 
is that you really are uh, collaborative with your peers across the county. And I'm um, wondering, what, how do you accomplish that? How is it that your peers across the county know you so well and respect you so much? What is it that you're doing to collaborate with your peers? Well, um, San Juan Capistrano is the birthplace of Orange County. Uh, we're the original city in Orange County, uh, but we're a smaller city. And mm -hmm. some of the larger cities that have grown up around us and, and to the north of us uh, are major players in a lot of the regional bodies. But we do participate also. We are in all the water uh, bodies. We are in the uh, Toll Road Corridor Agency. Uh, also serve on the Orange County Fire Authority. Uh, so we are represented at the table in many of these groups. We were involved in the Measure M funding for transportation. Uh, we are at the table now with LAFCO uh, because of the planning for the new developments and housing that is going out to the east uh, of our city. So uh, we feel we should be engaged in uh, county, uh, county planning, county issues so that our, our town is represented appropriately. Absolutely. So you mentioned, I'm assuming you're referring to the ranch plan. Yes. Um, how do you see that impacting San Juan Capistrano? Well, it's, it'll be uh, home to uh, 14,000 dwelling units. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have uh, Ortega Highway, which is uh, uh, one of the main east-west feeders into town. Uh, we just want to make sure that we have other north-south connectors. As you know, uh, La Pata is being uh, constructed uh, this year, mm -hmm. be, uh, beginning construction on La Pata. Uh, we're also planning as part of the extension of the 241 to have the Tesoro extension, which would uh, serve the ranch projects. Uh, and so, we, you know, we need to ensure that we continue to have traffic going around San Juan Capistrano and not down the middle of it. Uh, that said, uh, Caltrans has also uh, announced just last week the uh, exciting project of adding uh, the uh, carpool lanes north and south mm -hmm. on the I-5 from San Juan Creek Road down to Pico and, and improving the Pico interchange. So getting through traffic improved, getting traffic routes improved around our city, such as La Pata and the extension of the toll road, are very important to us in making sure that we have good mobility in South County. Okay, quick question before I ask my final one. The I-5 in Ortega construction project, when is that due to be done? Um, that is due to be done in the summer or fall of 2015. Okay. So about a year and a half to go. Okay. Uh, I think the, the construction has, has been going along quite steadily. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have a couple of times that uh, they will be closing the freeway and the off-ramp, so uh, we always have alerts going out to our residents, mm -hmm. and we encourage them to sign up for our e-blast on uh, our website by going to salmoncapistrano.org okay. and sign up for the, uh, you'll get daily e-blast and oh, updates excellent. on construction. Okay, great, well that's great. Appreciate that. Now we know where to go for that updated information. I want to thank you, Mayor, for joining us today. We appreciate your service to your community, and we'll continue to watch those exciting developments in San Juan Capistrano. Well, thank you, Lacey. That's it for Cox OC Connection and Civic Connection. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.